Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira automation tutorial, we are going to learn about how you can figure out or find out the Jira automation rule limits or the usage in your free account or the paid accounts accordingly. Okay, so we are using the Jira cloud version and we are on the free account or free limit of the Jira cloud. So let's see what all automation rules are available in the free account and what are the limits basically of the rules that we are creating. Okay, so in order to see all of the usage statistics you need to be the Jira administrator okay and you will have this settings icon enabled if you want to check the usage of the rules so if you click on this uh, the settings icon here okay and then go to the system so this will open the system settings of the Jira instance and we need to simply go to the automation which is global automation. Now in the global automation section, we'll see all of the rules, either they are multiple project, multi project rules or single project rules, they will be available here. Okay, so all the rules are available here and you will see the details in the project section for each of the rule which particular project these rules apply to. Okay, and then there are some rules which are applicable for the multiple projects but they are disabled at the moment okay so these are some of the rules that are available listed here in the global section or the global administration section of the Jira. Now, if you go to the usage here, okay, you will see the usage section here as well. This will clearly show you what all is available in terms of free Jira account, right? So 100 executions are available for free if you're on the free tier of Jira, okay? I am on the free tier of Jira. So 100 executions are available and you will see that we have executed so many rules still now but then still zero executions are being counted here now why is this the case because any single project rule within jira which is of a, even if it is a free account is not counted towards this hundred okay so any multi project rule so you'll see that if we go to this how my project how my usage is calculated let's go to that link and then you will see what all details how the calculations are basically happen right so if you see here as well they'll see uh, they'll they are mentioning that rules will trigger uh, until you reach your monthly limit right your monthly limit resets on 1st of october okay so single project rules are not counted towards your limit so because our project rules that i have created are single project i've created within the project i am not creating the rule that is applicable to the multiple projects that that is why they are not counted here as well okay so if you want to implement your rules in the free account make sure that you do not want to pay make sure you implement the rule independently in each of your project it's a lot of overhead okay it's better to go to a premium version of the jira if you are a, a organization um, and uh, an enterprise you definitely will be having the premium version but if you are a small organization less than 10 people you can replicate these rules in a different projects and run them individually okay project wise so you will have the unlimited sort of executions available in that case if you are doing multi project then obviously there will be only 100 executions that will be there okay and every 30 days these rule will uh, the executions will reset let's go to the briefly the usage calculation okay so let me maximize it and you will see that automation usage is measured by the number of rules that execute each month the, the usage limit reset each month okay so here all multi-project and global rule executions will count towards your usage okay that we have seen and then what doesn't count is single project rule execution doesn't count toward your usage okay so if you want to keep using it for free create single project rules and keep it using for free for all your projects okay for the multi project there is one exception to this is the cross product issue creation create action okay so for example if you want to create an issue in jira software based off an event in the jira service management this will count as a single project rule and not a global rule so if there is a Jira service management and you are creating the issues from Jira service management, that will count as a single rule. Okay. But to put simply the single project rule executions won't count toward your usage. Okay. As is the case here, but multi-project 
executions will count towards your usage okay so this is briefly how you are going to check what all rules are available in your jira instance from the global settings here global automation and then if you go to the usage section you will see how many executions have been done and how many are available for that particular month okay so this is briefly about the jira automation rule limits and how you are going to find the usage etc i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching